much. All right. I show up. All right. Thanks, Mark. All right, Mark. Thanks, huh? Thanks, for everything. At age 37, Kroon's career is now at a crossroads. And for the 22-year-old phenom Brandon Belt, his dream of making the majors hangs in the balance. You can tell Ryan, get a bell for me. Hey, Brandon. Peace. We talked yesterday, and uh, we're going to uh, go forward with you. And uh, it's a pleasure to tell you. Congratulations, man. You're in the big league. You got there opening day. Oh, well, you know, well earned. Uh, you've done a great job, and it's been a a lot of fun watching you because you're going to make us a better club. And, uh, it's something you've earned and you know, something you, uh, you've worked very hard for. So uh, very excited to have you uh, on our club. So welcome and, uh, and uh, let's have some fun now. Right. Good job, Bill. Good job, Pete. Good job. You did good, kid. Thank you. You did good, man. Good job. Appreciate it. Congrats, man. All right. We got him. I got to take a Hold on. Can't not do it like that. Good work. Hey, give me a hug before you go out there. Give me a minute. Nice going. Congratulations. Congratulations. Yeah. You take your time. You can hang with me for a while. If you need a beer, grab a beer. Hey. Should be. It's a big moment. Yeah, First baseman, number nine, Brandon Bell. Giants have first and second, one away for the rookie Brandon Bell. 2 0 oh here. He swings and drives one to center field. Going back on the ball is kept. Still going back. He looks up and it's gone. Brandon Bell has hit his first big league home run. Wow. You have a childhood dream and you're on cloud nine and you try not to smile too much. Uh, trying to act like you've done it before, but it was pretty hard. Brandon Bell, what a moment. His first ever big league home run comes in his second game. It was interesting when he made the team, you know, he comes out crying, little tears in his eyes. And I remember yelling across the room, like, why are you crying? I'm the one that's got to play outfield every day. Uh, <laughs> cheer up a little bit, buddy. I'm going to be tearing up for the rest of the year in right field with my legs. <laughs> Long run for the right fielder, Huff. I'm able to make the catch. I made a diving play, attempt at one, trapped it, almost made the catch. Rang my bell pretty good. Then the very next hitter hits the exact same ball, a little bit more on my left, and I had to dive for that one, too. Off on the run again. Dives again. Oh, it's beautiful. And I this time, it. makes the catch. I love it. The next day, I get to the field, and Pat Burl and put tape around the outfield where I was laying with my number on it. And uh, I knew that he had some accomplices. I just didn't know who until I went online and found Dan Runsler laying there with Brandon Belt assisting. Not only is this guy taking my job, he's making fun of me. So we got uh, we got some payback for a little Brandon. Brandon Belt, right here. Hey, you shit his pants. You know, some people say have him go out and play the outfield. You know what, he's your first baseman of the future. Let him play there. I'll go out there and play outfield. You know, I tell you, last year in the outfield, I got a lot of routine fly balls. And I was wondering to myself, how in the world can people be this bad in the outfield? It's not that hard. Huff on his way back. Off his glove. And passed Huff. This first week has been a lot of tough plays for me. While Huff readjusts to playing the outfield, another veteran makes a much harder adjustment to life in the minor leagues. What's going on? Hey, my name's David. I got some cable internet for you today. Come on in. Been here for two days with no cable, no internet. Life of a minor leaguer, sometimes it happens like that. We didn't catch that first pitch, so trying to get it done in time for the Giants game. It's a day that so many here have been waiting their entire lives for. At the end of the day, it was my option just to walk away from the game and retire. But being that I threw the ball well and I still have opportunity to make it back to the major leagues, I decided between that and my family who encouraged me to come back out here and give it a shot. I don't look like the Giants. 
You know, it's kind of like the old saying, make them tear the uniform off your back. There you go. You did it. That's it. That's it. There she goes. On an historic day here in the city of San Francisco. You know, obviously, I wish I was there, but um, right now it's just not meant to be. You never know what happens in this game. Hopefully, I could get called up and join the team. The vibe here is pretty amazing. With the team off to a 2-4 and four start, there is high anxiety at the home opener later that day. And the Cardinals take the lead here in the ninth. After Brian Wilson blows the save, a resurgent Pablo Sandoval sends the game into extra innings. This game is tied! Where Aaron Rowan delivers the game-winning hit in the 12th. Deep in the center field, it is off the wall! The rousing finale to the four-hour game was well worth the wait. Roll, roll. Is that a baby? God damn right, baby. Oh, yeah. And the next day, the giant who had waited the longest for World Series glory reflects on the coronation to come. I think it showed in the playoffs after we won the World Series that I was doing an interview with probably 20 guys around me. And, and I just I lost it. I feel like celebrating, but I can't move. Um, yeah, I always saw guys crying on TV in the World Series, Super Bowl. I'm like, come on, man, really? And to be here and do this, is, I can't believe it's happening. World Series ring day. Something I've dreamed about since a kid, to get this World Series ring. Looking forward to getting it. Taking it for I'm about 95% sunk in until this happens. The NLCS MVP, Cody Ross. It only go downhill from here, buddy. <laughs> Giant second baseman, Freddie Sanchez. Wow. Family around me. Who are we playing for? Dream come true. Aubrey Huff. Thanks, man. Thanks for bringing me over, baby. <laughs> Great job, buddy. Timmy, thank you, baby. Well, thank you. It's unbelievable. It's the greatest I've ever seen. This is, that's the sound. This is so unreal. The sickest ring I own, obviously. It's what I went my whole life for. Four hours later, the Giants' biggest off-season acquisition puts an exclamation point on the first chapter of the 2011 season. Here it comes. Swing and a drive. Hit the deep left center field. This is drive. And the Giants are going to win the game. Bill steps out of home plate. Unbelievable. During the season, Every game conjures up different emotions. Two days later, the mood at the ballpark is somber as the Giants pay tribute to an injured fan who had been the victim of a senseless act of violence. Tonight, we dedicate this game to Brian Stowe, who was tragically injured in Los Angeles after the season opener. I don't think I need to tell you guys about the Dodger-Giants rivalry. It's one of the most storied rivalries in the history of the game. But in honoring that rivalry and honoring the Stowe family, we ask that you respect each other as fans. There's no room in this game for hatred and violence. This is America's national pastime. Let's keep it that way. Thank you. Coming up on the franchise, a season with the San Francisco Giants. We have put up the World Series 2010 flag. There's going to come a point where you're going to forget about last October. Now we got to talk about Andres Torres. That's a huge blow. We find out if Andres Torres is going to join NLCS MVP Cody Ross on the DL. We can talk about this new battle cry. It's called God Heem. Good pitch! God Heem! Swing and a miss. God Heem! Got him! 
wrist. I played the first month of last year with a torn ligament in my wrist, and no one cared. Marosa strikes out. All I cared about is I hit a buck 90. Hi, baseball camera. Get him, get him. You got him down? Papa's feeling pretty uh, delicious right now. Back away from the car. Gahim. You can't get pulled over in an unmarked police vehicle. Fact. Please welcome Willie Mays. Now we're looking at Showtime, you and I. You should have told me yesterday I could have dressed out. <laughs> longer in the makeup room than me. Yeah! <laughs> hey, sweet shoes, bro. Um, no, actually, they're terrible. God, him. You're welcome. <laughs>